So, here's my new Red Bull, uh, that squared up my new Red Bull refrigerator. It's, uh, as you can hear, a little loud. So the first thing I want to do is see if I can get it quieter. Um, usually, small refrigerators like this aren't usually this loud, but I think this is uh, having to deal with some special considerations. So it's got some more fans and a little bit more aggressive of a compressor, but I can do a quick tour uh, and then kind of talk about the things that I'd like to change. So inside the unit, it gives a little bit of some facts. Uh, I'm trying to talk over that fan. Basically, it uses um, R600A coolant. I'm not really sure what the dash point five ounce. I'm assuming that's some kind of concentration dissolved in cyclopentane. Uh, the pressure drop is from 150 to 80, so 70 psi drop um, on the throttle. It's uh, 0.7 cubic feet and runs off of 115 volts. The cabin is pretty standard. The upper section has a fan to blow air over the uh, cold side radiator. It's got a grill and a bottom shelf. Now this fan is kind of the, the trouble spot because it is quite loud and I'll use the back side of the eraser to kind of slow it down. But you can see the uh, noise drop to just the compressor as that's done. But I think this fan is really important uh, because it blows a lot of air over this radiator which keeps ice which of course there's a little bit right now forming because the doors open and it's pretty humid um, but it keeps ice from building up here and also mixes up the air inside the cabin um, so that like down here in the corners where you might be closer to the door and farther away from the radiator doesn't you know get any like hot spots down here um, the LED lights are nice they make everything kind of bright uh, and this tray I think is removable um, and you can probably move it up here uh, for whatever reason if that's what you wanted to do. So I'm going to start. Um, I know the fan in the front is probably going to have to go but that's a pretty straightforward procedure so I just want to look at the back end of it first because that might be a little more complicated. You unplug the basic like PC three prong plug and then there's about a dozen or so of these little uh, tabs on the back which just come out. You can pull them out with a screwdriver. And once I get all these out it should take off this back panel and reveal some of the electronics and the compressor in the back but I gotta take off all these little So here's the hot side of the loop. We've got a small compressor in the bottom, some piping, copper piping. All the electrics are handled over here. Um, some big wires for the compressor and then a couple wires for the LEDs and a couple wires for the fans. The hot side is uh, actively cooled with this fan right here which doesn't seem to be doing a ton just because of how small it is but they sort of had to cram it in here I guess to keep this this side a little shorter and then here's the radiator array it's pretty um, it's pretty cheap I mean it doesn't have to move a whole lot of heat but it's just this kind of wire and it's got some more wire in between it in a grill so it, it works fine but it's not super uh, high quality but it is it is big enough and everything is spread out really wide that I think that I could even take this fan out and actually just um, let this naturally use like natural convection. Uh, there's even holes on the top here where it sort of it could the heat could come out the back, uh, especially on low um, on a low setting. You can see right here this has a well maybe you can't see but there's a small screw right here which is just the setting anywhere from one to seven seven being the coldest. Um, this is a second-hand unit, so there's a little bit of rust, a little bit of oxidization on some of the copper fittings here and here, and 
Looks like some stuff is kind of falling off this like little cheap paint that is really brittle under certain heat. Um, so I think my plan is I'm going to take this fan out. This guy should be able to get that guy out of the way. Here we go. So this is the inside fan right here. Let's see if you can see that actually. Yeah. So this is the inside fan. It appears, and it's got a fans. Just the compressor, and we'll turn the speed down to its, or the, um, I guess the power down to its minimum setting, and see how it operates for a little while. See if the inside gets cold enough, or if ice builds up on the radiator, that might cause some issues. Uh, and then if this thing gets too hot, which would be my my concern. But it's not so bad. I'm trying to figure out which one's the hot side. All right, so um, I removed this guy, this fan right here, um, and then put the back on it. It's been cycled a few times, and it's on the lowest setting, the lowest heat setting, or the highest heat setting, the lowest cooling setting, um, which is not quite like frozen. I think maybe at its lowest setting it does actually get below 32 degrees, but right now it's um, everything's still liquid, even on the condenser, uh, even on the the cold side of the radiator, it's um, still liquid. So, but I do not have this fan in here, which means that the hot side is passively uh, being cooled with convection, and I can actually feel the heat rising up and coming out of the top of the machine. Let me just zoom out a little bit. You feel the heat coming up out of the radiator area and out these vents on the top. Um, nothing feels bad like this shield right here is pretty um, it's just completely normal temperature um, but the machine is significantly quieter now and when it's not cycling as it is right now it's completely inert so there's nothing um, moving or making a noise but it's uh, definitely a lot more livable I think to uh, try and deaden the sound of the compressor one could put a piece of noise blocking foam right here but I think that uh, that would almost just be unnecessary I mean I can't imagine that making too big of a difference so I think I'm going to keep this all passively cooled um, I probably won't turn the heat up past like the hottest setting, I guess, or the least cold setting. Um, but I will want to do something about the fan in the front. Now it's disconnected right now, but it's essentially the same as this fan, uh, same size and everything. So it might be useful to scale it up to like a PC fan, like a 120 mil PC fan. But uh, then I'd have to make a brand new sheet metal bracket which again wouldn't be that difficult, but um, it just wouldn't it wouldn't be the same as it is now. So we'll see how that comes in the future. But as of right now, it's running fine, and you could just hear the cycle ended. Um, so there's no noise or anything like that when the cycle's not running, which is pretty much the goal anyway. And as long as I'm not keeping this like next to my bed, I should be able to sleep at night. So um, that's pretty much it.